Hi, thank you for watching. We've had tremendous um, viewers watching this week, the, this last week, and we're really excited about empowering you and giving you the knowledge that you need as you start on the journey of fertility. Today we'll be discussing ovulation. This is Dr. Wanjiro, and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility. Today I want to talk about four salient points about ovulation. The first point is what ovulation is. The second point is why is it important for us women to ovulate. And the third point will be when do we know we are ovulating? Are there signs, are there ways that we can actually know that our body is ovulating? And the fourth one will be when we're not ovulating, what can we do about it? Ovulation is when the egg, the mature egg, ruptures from the ovary. Rupturing means that it comes, that it um, bursts open and is expelled out of the ovary. So what happens at that point is that the tube picks up the little ova and, and propels it towards the place where fertilization occurs. So ovulation is, is just the bursting of the egg. So when does it occur in women? Ovulation really depends on a woman's cycle and it's important for people to know. People say, oh, I'm ovulating on the 14th day. No, not every woman ovulates on the 14th day. It really depends on the length of your cycle. So there are people who will ovulate on the 9th day. There are people who will ovulate on the 14th day. There are even people who will ovulate on the 21st day of their cycle. So it depends on what's the menstrual length of your cycle. For example, if you're a woman who, is of, who has a period every 35 days, you need to note that if you have on the day 35, which is when the period starts, 14 days before is when you actually ovulated, which is day 21, which is the optimal time for fertilization. And that's a really important point because people mess up and say, okay, it's day 14, I need to have um, see my partner and nothing will happen because it's not your optimal time of ovulating. So how, um, why is ovulation important? Ovulation is important because the egg, which has the female component of the unborn baby, is in the little um, follicle. And it has matured, and when it's ready is when it bursts and is propelled, and at fertilization, this is the little part that um, the sperm enters, and fertilization occurs and therefore becomes the baby. So it's basically our propulsion to the next um, generation. Eh? It's what you give to your child that is in the egg. How do I know I'm ovulating? Is there any way that I can know that my body is ovulating? Yes, there are. There are about five ways that we can know that our body is ovulating. Some women will have a little pain where the ovaries are. So to the left or to the right, at mid-cycle or when you're ovulating, you can feel a little discomfort like mild cramping. And this is one of the signs that people um, appreciate as ovulation. Not everybody will get that sign, it's important to note. So it may be other things, but mostly if it comes recurrently every single month on the same um, kind of day, then you can kind of um, determine that that's ovulation. Another sign that we need to watch out for is the cervical mucus, and that's the mucus that is produced during ovulation. It's a bit thinner and um, a bit more watery, but a little bit sticky. We kind of um, say that it is like egg yolk, but a little, little bit finer. And at that point, the mucus that is produced by the cervix is thin like that because we need the sperm to kind to be able we need the sperm to be able to penetrate within the cervical mucus and reach the tube so our body knows and helps the mucus turn to a bit more of a thinner constituency so that the sperm can can penetrate so that's another sign that women can look out for the third sign is a rise in temperature. I think this is, a very, is very difficult for women to determine because our body rises about half a degree or centigrade in terms of temperature on the day of ovulation. However, to measure this, you'll need a thermometer. You'll need to not have gotten out of bed because that temperature is best taken um, first thing in the morning before you've had your cup of coffee, before you've gotten out of bed, before you've gone to the toilet. So it's not a very reliable thing because you'll have to have tracked your body temperature from the 
first day and when it rises by about a half that's when we know but some people are really good at it so that's another sign to know that we are ovulating another sign is obviously that we get a little horny so women or men when they're a little horny that's probably the time of ovulation and it's because the hormones in our body want us to get pregnant yeah so that's the fourth sign and that's all that's those are very important signs there are other signs that the doctor can do their sticks their little sticks that you can actually pee on every morning maybe five days or three days before the when you think you're ovulating that will tell us whether you're ovulating but by and large our body can tell us as well so those are the signs of of ovulation so when do you suspect that you're not ovulating for women who don't get a regular cycle every single month be it a 21 day cycle be it a 35 day cycle that doesn't really matter but you must have your period within 35 days of every 35 days really yeah? so if you're not having that then we suspect that you're not ovulating and there are women who have something called polycystic ovarian disease who do not they maybe skip their period for two months three months I've had uh, there are even people who skip their periods for a whole year and these women are not ovulating so a sign that you're ovulating could be your menses but not always if you suspect that you're not ovulating or there's something going wrong please see a doctor and they will be able to advise you on when you're ovulating and how you're ovulating um, either by doing blood tests or be doing a scan. So thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something about ovulation and that this information has been helpful. If you feel that you know somebody who would like to benefit, would benefit more, please share with them. If you have any comments or you'd like to get in contact with us, please contact or please comment on our section below. This is Dr. Wanjuru Ndegwa and you're watching Footsteps to Fertility.